Hey lovely Aries, welcome to Free Spirited Tarot Guidance. This is a general read today for Aries, no matter where that falls in your chart. As a general read, it won't resonate for everybody, but if you don't find a message in today's story for you, just check out another aspect of your chart or one of the other readings because they're all timeless. Aries, thank you so much for subscribing and liking the videos and leaving me your beautiful comments. I love hearing from you and knowing that the videos um, have resonated with you. Okay, Aries, if there's anything um, you'd like to know about me or the tarot, just check out the description box below. Let's dive in, hey, what's coming towards Aries? Eight of Cups coming out there, Aries. So you might be walking away from something or considering walking away from something. We'll get a general read out here and then I'll clarify for details with a different deck. Tell me more for Aries. Oh, Aries. Three of Swords, this can often indicate heartbreak, um, but it doesn't have to be that huge. This could just be some kind of mental and emotional turmoil um, that you're going through at the moment. As you know, these readings can be reversed, so this could also be indicating how someone's feeling um, that you're dealing with. Wow, and we do have the Ace of Cups coming out here with the Death card, Scorpio energy here. So this does have something to do with love and some kind of big transformation. Tell me more. Following the Eight of Cups here, we've got the Two of Swords. So the situation has, cr has created quite a bit of mental confusion for you or the person you're dealing with. Um... The thing with the Two of Swords is this this can mean a decision, being stuck in your head about a decision, and all you need to do is take that blindfold off. It's when we're, see those uh, crows around our head, it's when we feel like uh, crows are squawking in our mind, which are actually our thoughts, and they're interrupting the process of being able to use our intuition. So once we take that blindfold off, we often find clarity um, behind all those thoughts, you know, the monkey mind when it's going a bit mental when it takes control of um, our mind and our thought processes. Wow, and another card, exactly the same, Eight of Swords. So whatever you're experiencing right now, Aries, it's it's giving you the feeling of being trapped and stuck in your mind. The thing is, um, just like with the Two of Swords there, see how in the mirror she's got all those crows, all your thoughts flying around in your mind. They're just in the mirror. She's fine over here, but she is not unable to escape those thoughts. What's going on here, Aries? Hold tight if this is you right now. Oh, another one. Wow. Huge mental confusion here, Aries. Look at that. That's incredible. They're exactly the same cards, really. Look at all those crows and all that mental confusion. So that's what's going on with you at the moment, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, too many thoughts going over and over in your mind and it might have something, well it obviously has something to do with this heartbreak here. Hold tight though Aries, if this is the situation that you're in right now, a big transformation is coming with the death card here um, or there's, um, you know, we're all experiencing similar um, journeys and life cycles but we all have different timelines so this could be a past situation and it's just giving us some backstory to let you know that this is the reading for you today uh, but with the death card and ace of cups does look like there's a love offer coming in that will transform your situation oh yep and straight on the back of that the sun beautiful Aries the sun is coming in to um, shine a light on all of this mental confusion to give you clarity the sun this is the card of leo um this brings total happiness this brings a smile to your face this is all your smiles rolled into one this is your dreams coming true um given all this confusion here straight up on the board though this looks to me like clarity is coming in for you uh to help to help alleviate all of these thoughts tell me more Two 
too many there. Yeah, whatever this situation is, it's made you feel quite de defensive. The Seven of Wands is often about feeling defensive, having to fight off um, people, other people's opinions. But it's also a card of putting your boundaries in. So that's what you might need to do or that's what you've needed to do. Put your boundaries in with someone. Know your worth. Stand up for yourself in order to change this conflicting energy. I often see this energy in readings of so much mental confusion um, when people are dealing with uh, people that have narcissistic tendencies, people that are deliberately... Um, gaslighting trying to confuse you manipulate you this reading has manipulation written all over it already in terms of you felt manipulated and that someone was you know pl playing games basically playing mind games with you that's what this reading straight up says it's quite clear we'll get one more before we clarify and get the details magician but you are manifesting your way out of this situation, Aries, manifesting a new start, manifesting this brand new beginning. And coming on the back of the Seven of Wands here, I would say that the Seven of Wands does mean that by putting your boundaries in, taking yourself out of the situation, whatever it is, that's what's manifesting your new start here. Okay, Aries, let's clarify and see what's going on here with you. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Wow, the Death card again. So Scorpio energy again, strong Scorpio energy on the board. You need to walk away in order to transform this situation is straight up what that's saying. With the Eight of Cups here, as soon as you walk away from whatever this situation is, and it could be anything... This could be a relationship and you've um, been in a to toxic relationship with someone who's been playing games with you. It could be a situation at work that's similar. <clears throat> Whatever it is that's been causing you this mental confusion um, and this heartbreak and giving you the feeling that you need to put your boundaries and stick up for yourself with that beautiful Aries power that you have, walking away from it is what will bring about this transformation to the situation and that's what's required walking away let's find out more clarify the two of swords two of wands one more on that please knight of cups and the ace of wands so this has got something to do with a decision that you've been confused about aries and i've got two different stories coming in here now so there's a very um there are a few of you who are needing to walk away from a situation in order to invite the energy of new love in. And there are a few of you who are feeling confused um, about a love offer that might have recently come in or is coming in towards you. We've got the Two of Wands here, which is a card of waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, not quite sure which direction to go in. Another card of choice here. And the choice is about a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands, fire energy there. In love, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups coming on in there to offer you love. So this could be a past person coming back um, who in the past has created a, cra a great deal of pain for you um, and now you're feeling confused about whether or not you'd like to take them back or whether they're telling you the truth. But they're certainly coming in with a love offer here um, and wanting to have a passionate new beginning with you and that is creating quite a bit of mental confusion for you at the moment. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Temperance, one more on that, please. Oh, wow, the Two of Swords again. There's a big need for balance here, Aries. This is what will help you escape feeling trapped here in, the, in your mind. With the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy here. This is often called the um, Angel of Healing. So something might be coming in to help you with this situation. It's also about bringing harmony and balance into your life. And that's the advice for you here in order to hop out of this mental confusion. Um, because here it is coming up with the Two of Swords again. Uh, so like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, this card's a beautiful depiction of the Two of Swords. Because although she's blindfolded with all those crows again, are they crows? 
I don't know what they are, um, flying around in mind. Look how she's wielding those swords. She's doing it like a pro. Even though she's blindfolded, even though she doesn't know what's coming towards her, she's sunk straight into her intuition. She's gone out of her thoughts and she's using her intuition to find her way through and she's doing it with expert pre precision. And that's what you need to do, Aries, in order to come out of this trapped phase. You might be getting help coming in, uh, whether that's from a friend or a person that um, is a mentor or a, maybe a spiritual advisor helping you with healing. This could be you healing yourself, bringing balance into yourself. And it's also most certainly the advice to help you hop out of your mind here and make this decision um, about what looks like a brand new beginning in love and transform this um, confusion. Clarify the Three of Swords. The Hermit there. One more on that, please. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. So I do feel, Aries, that I'm speaking to an Aries where this has um, occurred in the past. This heartbreak is past. Now, for you, that could be a month ago. It could be a year ago. It could be two years ago. Um, all of this mental confusion, this person coming back in is someone who um, you've obviously been very hurt from in the past and created a great deal of confusion for you. And either now or um, what you need to go into now is Hermit Phase. The Hermit, this is Virgo energy here. He's following that light there and he's doing that by going within, um, checking out his internal landscape, um, evolving himself, you know. When we go into a cave and we mm, put all of our effort and our time into sorting through our own emotions, our own thoughts in order to pop out the other side. And that leaves us often in this seven of pentacles phase, which is what you might be in now, where we're waiting. We're waiting for results from this beautiful hermit phase. So you might have been doing a lot of work on yourself, um, learning how to put your boundaries in to stand up for yourself, um, putting yourself back into a position of self-worth <clears throat> after this heartbreak. And that's what's helping you come out of it. If not, Aries, this is what you need to do. Go into that healing phase, the temperance here in the hermit. That's definitely the, uh, the advice um, at the moment to free up this energy. Clarify the five of swords. We're slowly getting through all this confusion energy, Aries, here to get to the future for you. Yes, the king of cups, the moon and the ten of pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with this Five of Swords being trapped in your head and all this backstory, um, the moon is all about our subconscious. It rules our subconscious. This can often mean that um, there's been fear, something's been hidden from you, um, and you've been floundering around in that dark space, but we need to go deep into our subconscious in order to pull out things that help move the energy forward. If, um, for example, and I feel strongly this is what we're talking about here, you've experienced heartbreak, it's brought all this confusion and um, while you might have been stepping out of that and emotionally detaching from it, um, you still have those ruminating thoughts. You know, you might be arguing with someone in your head still, even though this energy is old. Um, you might be going over um, a situation where you feel like you need closure and, you know, what we need to realize is we don't need closure from anybody else. We can give it to ourselves, especially when this energy is old and the only thing that remains of it is um, all of this uh, mental confusion. Another thing, you know, quantum physics has basically proven these days that we leave energetic pieces of ourselves with other people so Aries this person might have been thinking about you because they want to rush back in here with a cup of love and offer you love and so you've been picking up on that so you might have been thinking why am I thinking about this person I've healed from this situation I'm over this heartbreak I'm moving forward but all of a sudden you're thinking about them all the time and you're not sure why it's probably because they're thinking about you and they're very confused about how to come in and offer you this love because they know they've hurt you in the past with the king of cups here Aries, this is you or the other person. King of Cups is beautiful energy. It's kind, compassionate. Um, there's no gender in tarot, so this could be male or female energy. Um, but this is someone who's got a grip on their emotions, is emotionally pr maturing perhaps. This might be the person coming towards you. Or Aries, this is what you've been doing, sorting through your emotions, sorting through all those sorts. Um, those thoughts and ascending to a higher level to the king status of evolvement in terms of your emotions. Um, 
Um, and Aries, behind that, behind all the secrecy and the floundering of the moon, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is just around the corner from you. From Yeah, this is just around the corner from you popping out of all these thoughts. Is the Ten of Pentacles. This is having all your ducks in a row. This is um, happy family, happy life, kicking... Um, career goals this is a lot of abundance this is the 10 this is at the end of the cycle and it's bringing in huge abundance for you Aries whatever that means for you and it's it's what is literally waiting behind this moon once you pop out of this um subconscious uh space and all of these thoughts might be dredging up from your subconscious and the way to start eliminating those thoughts and that ruminating is to dig deep in, into the subconscious and just rest with it and let it all come up. Let it all float through you. Let it all float through you and out. That's what the King of Cups does um, in order to shine a light on it, create awareness of it for yourself, and then it will all start to just dissipate on its own. It's amazing when we do that work, that healing work, and really sit with it in this hermit mode, how it all just starts dissipating and we pop through the bubble, which is exactly what you're doing here, Eric with the sun card beautiful well too many cards there tell me more five of wands and three of cups there does look like we're looking at a reunion after quite a lot of conflict um, but that's what's helping the sun to come in, yes. So with the five of wands, seven of wands out on the board again, Aries, you've definitely needed to put your boundaries in with this conflict, whatever it was. Uh, it does look like a relationship here with all the cups cards on the table, but whatever this conflict was that you had with this person or this situation, you've needed to put your boundaries firmly in, stand up for yourself, and that's what's, trans that's what's transforming or has transformed this energy. What's bringing the sun in for you, Aries, is the Three of Cups. So this is celebration and a reunion. Um, that That is going to bring the sun in for you. Now, if we're talking about a person here that you don't want back, that you're just saying, no, 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 I'm not taking that person back, regardless, the 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 contact with this person or maybe this person coming in with apologies and to to try and make it up to you that's what's bringing the sun and clarity and I don't mean in a revenge way although that's perfectly understandable we all have felt like that if someone has caused us quite a bit of pain um, it's kind of validation isn't it but it, it's important to jump out of that energy and just realize that when this person comes back uh, with this offer that's bringing clarity to you uh, because a cycle has ended and it will soothe your ego you know if someone comes back and apologizes and realizes their mistakes and wants you back it soothes that beautiful inner child and that ego just realize that that's what it's doing it's soothing your inner child it's soothing soothing your ego don't get lost in the you know sucked into this person because now they realize what they've lost um, go further than that go deeper into yourself and realize that that's just bringing in the sun this reunion because it can close that cycle out for you and bring about this beautiful transformation that's on its way anything else for Aries yep it is judgment day Aries one more for that please Oh, beautiful. And the end of a cycle with the world. Aries, it's judgment day for this person and for this cycle. Um, look at all these women staring in the mirror at themselves. This person and you, I think, because often we're mirroring each other in difficult relationships or situations like that. We're mirroring each other so that we both learn more about ourselves. Often that... Um, comes on the back of a whole heap of conflict and difficulty emotionally and mentally but then we're forced to look at ourselves and it looks like this person coming back in with a love offer and perhaps a, an apology with the knight of cups here they face judgment day they've had to look at themselves they've needed to look at their actions um, and they've they've realized what they've done they've realized and they're coming back in to try and make amends and that will bring about the end of this cycle for you Aries the world this is the end of a cycle and the start of a brand new beautiful beginning Aries um, I think you can absolutely expect someone from your past to come back in with a love offer and perhaps an apology here 
um, the tarot isn't in charge you are, so I don't know whether you... I do know that you have needed to put your boundaries in with this person and stand up with them, stand up to them, but I don't know whether you want to take them back or not. Obviously, if this person was extremely abusive to you, don't take them back. Keep those keep those boundaries in. Let them deal with their life and do your best to move forward. But if this is a person who um, you do want to take back, um, you can expect them to come on in with a love offer here and that will shine clarity on the secrets Um and the things that you weren't sure of, they're coming in to shine clarity on it, give you a love offer, apologize and transform this situation for you. That's what they've been manifesting. It might be what you've been manifesting too. And this will bring about a transformation and a whole new world. Aries, that sounds corny, but that's it. A whole new world is coming for you. Wow, Aries, fairly intense reading there. Sorry for talking so quickly. I had a lot of things um, <laughs> coming into my mind that I needed to get out then. Aries, I hope I've helped you today. If I have, I'd love it if you could please hit subscribe, like, leave me a comment and let me know what's going on here. I love to hear from you um, and I'm excited to see you next time. Bye.